Hi everyone, my name is Augusta and I am a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a Find Replace tool in Alteryx. Before we start, please note that all links to the materials relevant to this video, including data sources, are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. We will start by inputting two datasets. The first dataset is going to be our dataset of interest. It's called Find and Replace Dataset 1. Click OK. And the second dataset is going to work as our lookup table. And let's select Find and Replace Dataset 2. Let's click OK. If we look into our initial dataset quickly, we can see that we have transaction ID, transaction date, account holder columns. And then if we go into our lookup table, we have a column word. And this is the column which values we will try to find in our first data set. And we will try to replace them with what's in this column. So for instance, if we have end symbol in our first data set, we will replace it with a string end. If there's CO, we will replace it with company and so on. Make sure you note that we will be looking for these values in a column called account holder. This will help with the configuration of the find replace tool. So let's drag our find replace tool. As you can see, the find replace tool needs two inputs. One of them is F, which stands for find. The other one is R, which stands for replace. Because the things we are looking for are in the first data set, we will connect it to the F and our lookup table will be connected to the R. So let's configure this tool. So we will be looking for words in a column called account holder, and we will look for values that are in a column word, and we will replace them with words that are in column replacement. So we will leave this uh, as it is now, and let's run this workflow. Let's look at the output. If we go back to our initial data set, we had N symbol here, we had CO, and now they've been changed to what we asked for. However, there is one problem. If we go back again to our initial data set, we had Colorado uh, in our data set, which is also CO. This means that Alteryx changed it to company Lorado, which is quite funny. So what we're going to do now is we will bring another find replace tool and we will improve the configuration in comparison to the first uh, find replace tool. So let's connect it as before. Let's leave these values as before as well. So find within field that's called account holder, find value in word and replace it with replacement. However, this time we're going to select match whole word only. Let's run this workflow. And let's look at the output. So everything seems all right here. And at the end, Colorado State, Colorado. If we look into the Find Replace Tools configuration on the left-hand side, we can see that it has this other option. Uh, which would find at the beginning of field. I will show you in a second why it can be useful. So let's upload another data set. This is going to be our second lookup table. And let's see what we have here. So there's only two uh, rows in this data set. And we will try to use it to tell Alteryx to replace the with null or essentially to just remove it, and to change CO uh, into Colorado. Because we were going to use the beginning of the field option, this will only work if V or CO are at the beginning of the string. So let's try this. So let's drag another find replace tool. Let's connect our initial table to F and our lookup table to R. And let's configure this uh, tool. So we will leave everything as it is, except we will select uh, to find at the beginning of field. 
and everything else I think is automatically configured uh, correctly. So we will be looking at the field account holder, we'll try to find value in company start and we will replace it with replace. So let's run this workflow and let's see what has been done. Our CO at the end has not been changed whilst Colorado was changed and also if I go back to the initial data set we had the so let's see if this has been removed and there you have it there's no the at the beginning I hope you now feel more confident in using a find replace tool in Alteryx if you enjoyed this video I think you would also find these other videos by my colleagues useful thanks for watching